name is Daniel Anthony White. My name is Tegiso John Serovatsi. My name is Liwana Rasizi. I'm Sir Justice Leo Malukwana. Hey, my name is Tebiso. I'm Sipo Twala. My name is Mike Marvin Moyo. I'm Natasha Bazarinaut. My name is Martin Bazarinaut. Today is my most memorable moment because at least I got to graduate, I got to start something and finish and, and see myself to the finishing line. I'd say my final year project, most likely, uh, was a se sectioned into two parts. The first was a group project, second an individual project. The group project I had the privilege of working with uh, a couple of individuals, uh, one local to South Africa and others international from Botswana. Um, we designed a pretty complex uh, a leaf spring design for an automotive vehicle. Um, the collaboration was, was excellent. And then uh, moving to my individual project, I uh, uh, had an excellent uh, uh, supervisor and uh, helped me through the whole process. It was incredibly memorable. The highlights would definitely be when I uh, was able to, or when I was informed that I actually achieved it. That, that was definitely the highlight. Um, yo, I feel very excited. Um, it was very challenging. At some point I dropped out um, in 2022 and I asked for time off and um, I then continued. Um, it feels very good to be completing and graduating today. Yeah, it was very challenging but very insightful. Very blissful studying through EIT, taking consideration all the uh, previous uh, attempts that I've taken over the past decade trying to get my qualification in civil and structural engineering. Uh, challenges, there's always time, uh, especially being in the professional industry as well and not just studying. So time is always a constraint. And uh, then of course uh, getting the energy to actually sit down and uh, read the manuals, study and of course uh, get through the exercise work. And uh, sometimes uh, it was a bit challenging uh, on time frames for asking questions because you know how it goes you ask a question you want the answer preferably five minutes later <laughs> uh, but you need to take in consideration that the person you're asking the question to they might be uh, anything from six to twelve hours ahead or behind you i would say i've had a very very wonderful experience I, i've got to uh, do the theoretical part of my course and also uh, I was doing uh, practicals and uh, I could experience a lot of uh, things that I never knew of. Listen, Steve mentioned this in his address EQ. There's a module on emotional intelligence. It is absolutely amazing and it's taught me so much that whenever I interact with people, I now look back at it and implement it in whatever I do. I've just won uh, the Sustainable Design Award. It's um, AI Innovation Award. <laughs> Got now the Academic Excellence Award, Vocational Education and Training, 2024. Um, what I would advise the people um, that want to complete the qualification at AIT, firstly is you must be very stingy with your time, you must be very good in time management, and you must be uh, very, very um, pay attention to your, um, your studies, and uh, yeah, most importantly, time management. For someone like me who's employed full time, it's easy to not not to say it's easy, but it's 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 you, you get flexible hours where you, you get to study and also go to work, attend evening classes. If you don't attend, you get to catch up via uh, recorded sessions. So and there's a a lot of uh, books that are available online that 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 are there to guide you through the whole course. Um, the institution is, is by far the best, so I think people and upcoming engineers should uh, consider uh, studying with EIT. Congratulations, I am so super proud of you, really super proud of you. Thank you very much. <laughs>